Hey guys, so today's vlog is a little bit different. Just to be clear, it's footage from a year ago. So this is last year, Mia's first Christmas. I'd filmed it, I'd edited it, and I never shared it. And I kind of want to have it for us to look back on, but also just to share that other side of Christmas because there are lots of children out there who get ill at Christmas or are ill at Christmas and spend Christmas in the hospital with parents who feel helpless and really worried about their children. Mia is absolutely fine. <laughs> she just had a bug. The NHS were amazing. The care was fantastic. And we're very lucky that we got out within, I think it was like five days or something. But it was how we spent the end of our Christmas last year. It's important to think about people who are also unwell at Christmas time as well. So here you go, a little step back in time. Merry Christmas, everyone. So Mia's first Christmas did not end the way we expected it or planned it to go. <laughs> um, we are currently in the sick kids hospital with a very poorly Mia. Um, we've been here pretty much 24 hours now. So she has a fever, has a cough, kind of conjunctivitis-ish. So we're struggling to get liquids in her and keep some in her. And yeah. I'm becoming a milking machine quite soon. And Steph has just turned up. She's the saviour of Christmas. She's just turned up with an entire Christmas leftovers platter plus extras and we're currently trying a scotch egg <laughs> we have pudding we have turkey and pasta and even some cheeky magazines <laughs> and now she's cuddling me you want to try and get mummy's phone yeah. we've got our pajamas on now we're ready for bed we're getting there we're just gonna have a few songs first yeah. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We'll get there very soon. If you wanna take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Yeah. So a little update from us this morning. Mia slept okay. Hasn't really fed. We've tried lots of different things. Water, yogurt, milk in numerous ways. <laughs> she won't take a bottle. Um, and the last resort is kind of doing it through the drip. So we're hoping that doesn't come to that. Her temperature is down, her colour is back, her eyes are looking a bit more normal now. Yeah, but she's just, she's pretty out of whack. As am I, look at the state of us. <laughs> but we're just waiting for daddy and grand to come back in now. But that was a busy night. It was a tough night. Mm. But you did so well. We did so well. You're such a wee trooper. So I'm looking pretty rough. <laughs> Just escaping for a little bit of me time. Um, I've got some snacks and some coffee because you're not like any hot drinks on the ward. So I'm sort of doing all of this with no coffee as well. Um, but yeah, Ingmar's there so she's doing fine. She just wants, she just wants to play or do something because she's bored, understandably. Um, yeah, so I've left them to have some time. I'll have a little walk, sit in the park, have a coffee, and then head back. If there's anything, I'll head back early. <laughs> we have a little picnic from lovely Grand Rosa. We have some platforms, um, some coffee. I've got my hat in here, and my phone, and Buda brought a coat. 
I just thought I would pop out and uh, capture some of this view. So I'm currently in the meadows enjoying some lovely vitamin D. Look at this. Staggering. But yeah, as much as it's hard to leave them, to leave Mia, I think it will do me good, so it'll do her good for me to just nip out even for a couple of minutes just to sit on a bench, take in this amazing view and this glorious day and just have a bit of coffee and kind of me time, get a bit of perspective, realise that actually, count her blessing, she is doing fine. There are a lot of children in that hospital who are a lot worse. It's a very, very worried parents and worried families and we are in the best place for her and I'm very lucky that we have our family and our friends here who can pop in with food and clothes and whatever else we need so yeah the only uh, downside to this is it makes me really want to move back even more <laughs> but we won't tell Ingmar that just here's my little baby so we now have a drip in and we're trying to keep her entertained as much as possible and this Provides a little bit of relief. Mm, for not very long, maybe. So just to keep an update going, um, Mia is now on an IV drip. I am expressing milk as much as I possibly can because she has started taking a bottle from uh, one of the nurses here. And she's yeah, keeping liquids down, which is great. So she is showing signs of improvement and hopefully I can have a bit of a sleep in a bit because this is <laughs> exhausting it's really hard going emotionally and mentally and physically yep I like my little baby it's so, so it's been a tough night Mia has been poked and prodded I have fed and expressed pretty much all night long. She now has ulcers on the inside of her mouth, so she's not feeding anymore. Um, she's still got her cough that's keeping her awake. She's still on the drip, which keeps beeping constantly throughout the night. We have to go and get the nurse in. We're just not getting any rest, and I think that's adding to her just not getting any better. But we're in the right place so what can you do i'm exhausted she's absolutely wiped and it's it's horrible you just wish you could swap places all i can do is sit here hold her hand sing to her hum talk to her play her white noise her dummy back in and express milk for her. She's too weak to go on the boob. She just wants to sleep. We're heading into the fourth night now. Um, it is starting to get pretty tough to stay strong and stay um, well, just not emotional, really. <laughs> um, I'm tired. I'm tired. Yep. It's hard to find words. We'll put words together. Um, Mia is with her gran and her daddy right now. She's just had some more copal, some medicine because she's got ulcers in her mouth, so she can't drink right now. So I'm still pumping my milk, hoping that she's going to be able to take a bottle at some point and keep getting milk into her. She's still in the IV and they've increased the amount of liquid to keep her hydrated. So yeah, we're in for another night um, and hopefully it's going to be a good night where she'll get some rest because she is fed up and beyond exhausted. Yeah, you just, oh, it is heartbreaking. I know in the grand scheme of things she's she's going to be okay. I know she's going to be okay. This isn't a big thing, but it's it's still hard. Okay, so our morning update. I think we're here yeah, day five now. Obviously, five days is enough for both of us. <laughs> we're both fed up and sick of it. Just want to get home. Um, we 
I've had kind of an emotional morning. I've had an emotional morning. We have good news, we do have good news. So the doctor's been round and they have disconnected the IV, which is great news. They've kept the drip in just in case, the cannula just in case she needs to go back on, but they're suggesting that we just go straight to um, solids. So we're just gonna try some yogurt and I think they brought some custard. Um, she does still have a mouth full of ulcers, which is why she's not eating, but hopefully she will be able to kind of swirl around some yogurt in her mouth and get that down maybe with the suck of a dummy or something. Um, I am obviously pumping because I'm about to explode <laughs> um, and keep the milk supply going. But yeah, we're just, we're gonna forget about the liquids right now and just go straight onto solids and if she takes them, then we get to go home, yes. If not, then it's back on the drip. Um, but hopefully, it's gonna work. So they brought in a high chair. We're gonna sit you in the high chair, just like on Christmas dinner, Christmas day, um, and get her on some solids. She has had a few solids already, a couple of days trying different things. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be your introduction to real food, baby Mia, sorry. Bit dramatic but it has to be done. Let this be the saviour of Mia getting home today. <laughs> well it's kind of working. I'm basically just putting dollops onto her dummy and feeding it but she's got absolutely no strength to hold herself up. Look who's getting dressed, has a toy, has her cannula out and is getting ready to go home. Yeah! Do we have a drink? And that's us back home to the Christmas tree and all of your presents to enjoy. Listen to this little girl now. A happy little baby. Yeah. Yeah, happy little girly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>